That doesn't mean my nails are about to cry I mean, look at that shine Look, look at that multi chrome shift I'm shook <sighs> Oh damn, I just published my greatest hollow hits volume 2 <laughs> Why couldn't I have waited for this gem? <laughs> Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. And no, that's not actually water on my nails, but it could be. I've seen this technique around for a long time on Instagram. I think we call it the water droplet technique? Not sure. Raindrops? Shiny blobs, sure. But let me guess, you may not even be here for this nail art tutorial. You might just be watching this video to find out the winners of my 2 million YouTube subscriber giveaway. Not to worry, those are gonna be announced at the end of the video. So first, you can watch me do my actual nails I know holy shit this never happens so I'm starting off with a peel off base coat because I'm gonna peel it off and add it to my baggie now I'm applying one thin coat of black gel polish and if you're asking if you have to use gel no you don't you can use regular polish but I'll show you why I didn't in a bit this black gel polish though is not opaque at all black milk <laughs> So with gel polish, you gotta put it under a fancy purple alien light thing and then that cures it, as they call it, which basically means it makes it hard. And you have to do that for every coat. So I've cured one coat of black gel polish and now I'm applying a second coat to make it actually opaque. Baking and curing and baking and curing. <laughs> now I'm applying a glossy gel top coat because the magical chameleon multi-chrome powders work best over gel top coat. We gonna cure it again. To avoid some of the mess from the powder, which is one thing I absolutely hated about doing this the last time around, if it gets all up in your cuticles, I'm using one of these peely apron thingies. Last time in working with these powders, I found that putting liquid latex around my nail actually kind of ruined the shiny effect of the powder, so I'm not doing that this time. So there's a few different ways to do this. You could use your finger, one of the fancy applicators, or an eyeshadow applicator like this. Today I'm going with the basic bitch approach. Then you just rub it on. That's about it. Uh, what's funny though is that I still use eyeshadow applicators that look exactly like this on my eyes. Uh, I know you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to use blending brushes, but those don't work for me. Okay, I'm still working on my Simply Face Logical. When you're done and the magic is on your nail, you can peel up the apron, dust some dusties away. And now we're gonna add another glossy gel taco to seal the powders in. This will make sure that there's no water damage that gets into the powders, which then basically f***s them up. So you need this step. And then you cure the taco one last time and everything's fine. But before we move on to the raindrop step, I wanna show you guys my attempt of doing this with regular black polish underneath, not gel. So that was my favorite one coat of regular black polish. Then I put a gel top coat over top. A regular glossy top coat won't work with the powders, but a water-based top coat would work as I showed you in my hollow powder nails video. I do find that these nail powders are stronger or shinier, if you will, over top of a gel top coat as opposed to any kind of regular polish, so that's what I'm doing. And one important thing that I failed to mention because I'm not a nail tech, why are you even listening to me for tips? Is that the gel taco you use has to be a non-wipe gel, which basically means you don't wipe some alcohol shit on it to remove the sticky layer. This mysterious sticky layer, yeah. With the no wipe gel top coat, there is no sticky layer, so you can go ahead and apply the powder right away after curing. They sell all this shit on Amazon. I put some example links down below in the video description box. And now for the reason why I realized it may not be the smartest idea to use regular polish underneath it all, is that you get these little rippling effects. And based on some preliminary research, I think this is the result of the black polish not fully drying because regular polish does not solidify instantly with the curing machine like gel polish does. So gel polish and regular nail polish are really not compatible, really shouldn't be used together. I mean, I'm not a nail tech, but I read that on some nail tech blogs, so they're probably right. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to avoid any potential weird shit forming under your nail, under the layers, like what's happening to mine, I recommend using all gel polish. But look at the shifty, forget about the deformities, look at the shift, whew. 
boy. Girl! Oh, by the way, this magical powder is available internationally now. Before it was really hard to find, and now it's really easy to find. I made it super easy for you by giving you a direct link below. You're welcome. Oh no, did we forget what's on my other hand? Aw, shit, my nails are so much shorter. If you follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen the drama. Actually, it wasn't that traumatic. It's fine, because it's the hand I don't give a shit about. Isn't this teal hollow flaky polish nice, though? Yes! Okay, back to the all gel-based nails. To do the raindrop effect, I wanted to make the background a little match, so I would have a contrast between the shiny raindrops and the background. So I'm just applying a matte top coat on top of the multi-chrome. Oh, it's not shiny anymore. I'm so sad. Now I'm taking some gel top coat. I put it on my nail art mat, and I'm just taking a tiny brush and painting dots on it. Pretty f simple. I said it was easy. I didn't lie. You could just use a dotting tool if you want, but I kind of wanted to play with the different shapes and sizes and uh, I was too lazy to go get my dotting tool. Okay, that's the actual truth. What's cool about doing this technique over a multi-chrome base specifically is that the bubbles of water-like spheres reflect the multi-chrome at all different angles, so it really helps bring out the fact that it shifts colors. You're not seeing that right now from this angle because this angle is full-on light and my studio that's not a studio, it's just my condo. Looks like a sassy reptile. Now we're just gonna cure it so we can make the balls hard. <laughs> What? And now let's get some shifting porn in it. Ooh, a whole new type of nail porn, shift porn. I think this technique is pretty dope if you ask me. And it doesn't have to be raindrops or little circles. You could paint on whatever you like. It does make your nails a little 3D, which is not only cool when people ask if they can touch your nails like a creep, but also because it reflects the rainbows of the multi-chrome under it in so many amazing different ways. Lighting is key for multi-chrome nails, so if you do this look, make sure you raise your nails up to the light and then down low and then up and down and and basically just just do a dance oh you guys want me to shut up and announce the winners of the giveaway <laughs> all right then i would just like to let you guys know first of all that there were over forty thousand entries which is crazy because this giveaway required doing actual work like writing a story which most giveaways do not require any work so round of applause to you guys for putting in the work yeah you're all gonna be very successful one day. I know it. Unfortunately, because I'm not gonna read for 10 million hours straight, I randomly picked 500 entries and read those. And I laughed, okay? I asked you guys to make me laugh, and you delivered. <laughs> Such good. So it was really hard to pick a winner. To most of you who entered, chances are that I wasn't able to read your entry because that's how probability works. <laughs> Yay math. But I want to thank everyone so much for spending the time to write me your nail fills. I appreciate that you guys have a wicked sense of humor. But forget about just me getting to read your humor. How about we let everyone read your humor? So go ahead and comment what your nail fail was down below in the comments section. I'm sure the rest of the holosexual fam would like to read your yours and then we can all laugh at each other even if we lost it's fine there are no sore losers there are only nail fails and with all that blah blah blah, blah said the five winners of the two million youtube subscriber giveaway are these YouTube slash Google plus usernames. I have emailed all the winners and I'm gonna post their winning nail fail stories on my Twitter. So make sure to go follow me on Twitter so you can read them. Also, even if you just have something funny and random to tell me, just tweet me. Doesn't always have to be about a competition, you know? I think we just all need to laugh more. That's what it is. Because after all, we gotta have some fun before we die. And with that said, uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later, bye!